Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. So let's see what you got going on here. Cycles. We may need to pay attention to cycles or just wait for something to cycle out. So, you know, put whatever is in your situation because it is a general reading, Sagittarius. Um, however, I do get this thing, uh, this thing of like something may be repeating here. And so we're changing something up. Okay. And I do feel there's going to be a time where um, you're going to experience some high energy as well. So yeah, I feel you've been going through the ebbs and flows of things right now and you're ready to experience something new because you're ready to get out of a cycle, I feel. What else for Sagittarius? Have patience. Love is patience and uh, patient and kind always. So, you know, there again, there's no need to rush something. I mean, you can't force the cycles of the moon to, you know, go from one extreme to the other. It's a progress, right? Just like you, you're a progress, but I feel that you're sitting quite pretty. Actually. Um, I see you embodying this, uh, sense of, uh, like childlike wonder here inside of that Lotus. So just have patience with yourself. Um, especially if you feel, you know, you need to have everything perfect cause you don't. Okay. Um, imperfections is what's going to make things, um, a lot more rewarding. Ooh, I'm getting star energy as well here. Yeah, this is really coming off as star energy. So there is some type of new, um, there's some type of new beginning here, uh, when it comes to a, a pro, uh, excuse me, a bright, uh, future here, uh, prospects on the horizon. Also, don't expect yourself to be knowing everything and being perfect at everything, especially when you're in a place where you're still um, studying things about yourself, your environment, what's going on, right? Dreams, destiny. There's something strong about your destiny. Okay. So a lot of you might be f finding or sensing a strong pull. Be supportive, make, uh, make a genuine effort to show you care. So, you know, you're going through these ebbs and flow. I feel that this is all about reciprocity, reciprocity as well, Sagittarius. So be willing to give or be supportive where you can, right? You don't have to force it, uh, force it, but when the opportunity presents itself, why not show someone that you care? And vice versa, I feel that, you know, be open for, you know, support, recognition, and someone or others showing that they really care about you. Now, this is kind of um, a little uh, off here. Uh, when, with the, Only take this if it resonates, but I do get something, I don't know, this looks like um, something about a wedding here. So there could be, you know, a special wedding or a special ceremony of some type, you know, that really strengthens a bond. Okay. So, you know, take that how it resonates because a marriage or a wedding could be, you know, a special ceremony, uh, between two people here, you know, and it doesn't have to necessarily mean a traditional, um, form of a wedding, but there may be something that we are celebrating and cherishing with one another. Okay, let's see, what else? And also, Sagittarius, in case you don't know, how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to. Oh my goodness, for however long. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, so, Ace of Cups, a new beginning, new fulfillment, take your time. You know, I really feel that this is you filling up your cup, enjoying yourself right now with what you have to really nurture yourself. You know, you really are in a place to, um, be more in tuned with your own cycles and rhythms of your own energy levels, you know, your emotions as well, because that's all lined up to it. So take good care of yourself. Um, and also, you know, if, if there's something for those that are searching for love, there's definitely opportunity for that. We have some type of great fulfillment. Oh my goodness. And look at the Lotus here and the Lotus here. See there, mm, there's some, some kind of blessed miracle of some type of new life forming from this Ace of Cups. It's going to bring you divine blessings, peace. Okay. This is interesting. Take this. If it resonates, it won't for all of you. I just heard the word register. So I don't know if there's something about delaying on registering or you need to register or 
something about forms possibly here, uh, maybe finishing things up so that we don't feel like, you know, we're um, putting things, you know, I take this if it resonates, but you know, putting things aside when you could possibly get it done now, like if you can get things done now, just get those things done now, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, so that we're not, you know, accumulating or piling things up, unnecessary burdens, okay? Because there is something about, you know, being in this place of uh, purification, renewal, regeneration. What else for Sagittarius? Okay, hold on. The bottom, okay, we, gonna, we may need to take a risk here on doing something a little different or risk on someone. So let's get a little bit more about this risk. I do sense some of you too are really in the process of letting go of what need what needs to be let go because I feel that you you know and sense that something has run its destined course and there's something else lining up here when it comes to proceeding on your destined course. Let's get uh, more about this risk card for Sagittarius, please. Give something a chance here. Give your give yourself a chance. Give a new beginning a chance. What do you want Sagittarius to know about this risk? See the big picture. So there may be something with do, doing something different. I feel there may have been a situation where I'm sensing eight of pentacles coming through. You know, I'm seeing you being loyal and dedicated to a strong purpose or really um, allowing yourself to try to find what you feel is your purpose, right? Or something uh, meaningful. So there may be something here where you've been working a lot or doing things, or maybe there's just been so much focus on earthly matters. Maybe we have been going up and down. Uh, so it might be time to just get, you know, do something a little different or implement something new. Um, maybe it is time to change your schedule up a little. You know, there's something about seeing the big picture. And, you know, I, I'm just noticing something here. We're up high here. She's looking up to the heavens and we're not going to look down below, right? And so I feel that you have been working, working, working up on this mountain or this cliff to see how high you can fly. So you are learning to fly with a new set of wings. Be patient with yourself, right? Pra practice makes perfect. You're not gonna be perfect at everything right away and that's okay. That means you're making progress. So I do feel there's something about devotion, commitment, because I was getting this thing about marriage. I just felt like there was some type of ceremony going on here. Um, so I do feel there's something about opening up here, right? See the big picture. We're looking, uh, be we're looking beyond the surface. Okay, and something is running its course or has run its course, okay? But we, we may need to also be cautious of, you know, stepping back into po a possible pattern as well, okay? I'm just saying, I'm putting that out there. What else for uh, Sagittarius? You're going to be overcoming any obstacles. So if something if something didn't work out the first time, you know, just keep in mind that there's always going to be a way around it or through it, or possibly, possibly there is a obstacle that's saying, no, not yet. Have patience. We put this obstacle on your path on purpose, Sagittarius, so that you can um, be patient with yourself, cultivate, summon, and focus on the love that is actually, I feel, filling you up right now, okay? And this is where blessings, magic, miracles really happen, health and healing as well. So if there was an obstacle that you just seem to not be able to overcome just yet, Spirit is saying, just not yet, okay? And play while you wait. Have patience with the process here. Okay, what else? movement and individuality i like this we've got horse spirit okay there's going to be more that wants to come out with this we have horse spirit and individuality i see this cardinal 
So there may be something with a, I think that's a cardinal bird, but uh, messengers here, heed the messengers. You're meant to feel and roam wild and free here. Why not put your best foot forward or your most courageous foot forward and give a new life or a new experience a chance? Because it wants to run with you. It wants to play with you, said Sharia. So trust that you are also making, um, you know, great progress and movement towards individuality, independence, finding your own personal power or just continuing to strengthen it. This is about endurance and stamina as well. So let's see what wants to come out with this movement in individuality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The time has come. I do feel that it's all about rising up, seeing the bigger picture right now, having patience. Something is working out in your favor and um, another thing is, is, you know, we could be weighing our options right now. So <clears throat> pausing is good. We do have Libra coming through with the justice. So some of you are releasing yourself from possibly old contracts, old life agreements that don't, you know, that are, that you're done, that has cycled out. And here we've got this new cycle. I'm getting something about karma too. <laughs> There may be something here where you could be leaving others behind, but don't be scared of that, okay? Um, I want more too with the uh, justice for you. You know what's interesting too, Sagittarius? You could be dealing with the, someone that has Libra placements or you could even have strong Lib Libra placements in your chart. And you may even resonate with Libra's reading in this series. Because there's something about noticing patterns or maybe it, it, like you, maybe it's because Libra was kind of like these repeating days or like, you know, groundhog day effect. You wake up and it's like the same thing that's happening day after day, which, you know, there's no, there's nothing bad about that either. Right. But um, we're finding something that when a cycle, when, a, when something is repeating to the point where it rubs us wrong, then we know that our soul is just guiding us to. Uh, be free with something, right? To not hesitate to break out of some type of rut or routine. Some of you quit being obsessed with work or finances, you know, or material things, possibly. Not all of you, but just something, right? Where we're just working hard, 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 hard. Okay. And you are building something here. You are um, doing something that is causing you to be self-reliant, which you should be proud of yourself. You're finding something out about yourself as well because i do feel that you are on the higher scale of things here okay and we're noticing where we might be lowering ourselves, or um you know uh, that's where we take a stand right we're not going to compromise or lower our standards right oh was i i was getting more with that justice card okay let's see this one a little bit more too There is something about partnership here, and, and Libra does represent uh, the, the signs, the symbol, excuse me, uh, partnership, contracts here, choose love. So yeah, there's, there's a favorable thing here when it comes to a contract with someone, a soul contract, a marriage, um, renegotiating things, right? That do we want to keep carrying it forward into our future or are we going to decide that maybe no, we don't. We're going to allow something else to form. We're, we're doing something different. Act as if your partner is here, okay? Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as, as excuse me, excuse me, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. You know, when you're doing your thing, uh, day to day, uh, whatever it is that you want in your life. Cause I feel that you could put this in any situation, a partner, um, an ideal home life, um, an ideal, you know, level of comfort in life. Like how, you know, how would you feel if it was there already and just act as, as, as if, right. Maybe you could turn on the music, you know, and while you're cooking dinner and maybe you could be dancing with your partner in the kitchen while you're both cooking dinner, right? Wouldn't that be nice? You know, or whatever, whatever is your thing, you know, whatever. 
<laughs> choose love you always have a choice this is this is um oh my gosh this is justice because this is you choosing peace love tranquility over you know maybe something that's just not meant to be in the picture anymore right maybe it was just a karmic situation or a cycle or or listen spirit also wants to protect you from a situation or possibly others that could perpetuate a, a repeating pattern okay oh, you always have a choice and make yours with love you know whatever you do choose and decide open your heart let your heart decide choose love right for yourself for others involved because you're always going to be the winner when you do that because you're doing something that's not just for the best for you but best for others involved as well but yeah we've got something about a partner coming and heading your way so you know keep moving keep figuring out your own things that you love about yourself your own individual spark and run with it okay run with it I feel that dreams could be playing a big part with you too. You could even be dreaming about animal spirit guides um, showing and revealing themselves. You could be also, you know, having dreams about a soulmate connection. What else? Be loyal to what you love. Again, we're going to stand in our power. The hour of the power. I don't know why I want to say that. Maybe spend an hour in your power. Ooh, maybe there is something here. Okay, maybe there's something here. Being consistent, being loyal. This is why I was picking up Eight of Pentacles earlier. Because it is about dedication. Loyalty. Ooh. So be loyal to what you love. Maybe spend an hour of doing something you absolutely love or feeding yourself your dreams acting as if your partner is here or doing th uh, things of kindness whatever it is it's let your it's, it's call it your <laughs> your power your hour power or something like that i don't know i'm just saying just giving you guys ideas here okay uh, I feel that the sun is going to be shining on you pretty soon if it's not yet, especially because I, I, again, I sense eight of pentacles with you. So whether you are, you know, focus on career or perfecting something, you know, or you're dedicated to something that you want to see through, especially when it comes to, you know, your financial gains, your sense of uh, being self-sufficient, you know, those kind of things. And you definitely can see the rewards here okay so just be loyal to what you love um, if you don't know what to choose right now maybe that's the first step right to make take an inventory what 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 are the things that you love and just decide to be loyal with that right and that can help you just carve out the path here what else love endures yeah love does not give up or lose faith no it doesn't because you're here right now, Sagittarius, you know, you are it, the body of love. Just remember that, okay? Your body is the body of love, okay? I don't know. I, I don't care what you've had to go through or, or you know, well, I do care the things that you've gone through. But um, we're not, you know, if we're going to look at uh, staying small, which that's not in your nature because look at how powerful you are. Um, you know, you're just becoming more strong and, you know, I was getting something about stamina, endurance, strength, especially with the horse spirit. And it's exactly what's going on here. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. You know what? I really do think it's, it's not a selfish act. So please do not take this as a selfish act. I think you absolutely should be carving out an hour, an hour of power time for, for Sagittarius um, to really look at your strengths, right? Or to do something that um, strengthens the things that you already know are strong, right? Or maybe, maybe shifting your focus on whatever you feel is weak. You're, you're nurturing that part of yourself and allowing it to grow and become stronger with time. <laughs> All you have is time anyways. 
this is where we're at. We live in this reality of time. Make the most of it. You got something strong and powerful about love. Love is propelling you. It's propelling others towards you. So let it propel you. Follow it. I mean, look at this Ace of Cups that came out in the beginning here. What else for Sagittarius? Okay, that's a little bit weird. Do we want to get more? That's a little bit challenging here. Look at the way that it just really wanted to come out sideways too, Sagittarius. So we got Virgo. We got um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It might be hard to ignore others right now, or there might be something where we're, we're having a hard time getting a peace of mind or making a decision. Let's see what else comes out. I feel that some of you are having a hard time blocking out maybe something that could be distracting. Um, it's like your inner soul sees something, right? Your eyes don't see it just yet. And that's so funny because I kept, I kept getting this thing about looking beyond the surface of things. And that's exactly what this hermit and the two of swords is doing. But it's challenging. It really is. It, I know. I know. I know, said Sherius. Let's get more with this. <laughs> I, I knew you're a little hard worker, you said, Sherry. Is. Look at this. Sweet results await. Don't be challenged with time. Don't be challenged by the surface of things. Okay. All you need to do is seek within. Okay, I feel that even the hermit's not moving. Okay, we're not moving. There's something about patience. Love is patient and kind. So we may need to do that with others too, you know. We're just coming back to love, you know. Even love your enemies, like seriously. I was just thinking that, like what would happen? Because it obviously, you know, human reaction and maybe even animals, right? It, it, is, it is kind of, well, not kind of. It's natural to, you know, react really quickly, right? So isn't it kind of interesting, though, like if you really reacted to someone that was being super hateful with a bunch of love, <laughs> you know, who knows what would happen. But think about how much more power that takes than to, you know, give into something but or reacting. But then sometimes, you know, we do need to react. We do need to um, utilize our different uh, emotions you know, we, d we need to be comfortable with being angry. We need to be comfortable with being impatient. And we also need to be comfortable with love. We need to be comfortable with, um, you know, impatience um, or patience, right? But you got sweet results await, even if you may have felt a little stung here, because I feel like the bee can also, you know, sting, but the it's really doing things to protect, right? So fear not, sweet results await. What else? Be in the present. Oh my gosh. And dream of the future. I really get star energy. I really get lifetimes going on here with you, Sagittarius. You know, you've been around the sun, the sun and moon and back. Okay. I really feel, you know, there's nothing that you um, need to worry about, right? Be in the present. When we dream, everything is possible. So we do need to take a little time out. We may need to shift our focus. Maybe we do need to schedule a little retreat, okay? Maybe a little spiritual retreat or just a little quiet time. I mean, however it fits you, okay? But look at all, look at what's going on here. I mean, look at, you know, the different timelines that are happening all simultaneously. Everything is possible. All you got to do is just be loyal to what you love, okay? You don't have to figure it all out, but just be loyal to what, you're, what you love and just watch miracles start happening. Watch your dreams actually come find you. I'm dead serious. Watch your dreams come find you because it will. It will. It comes in a very magical way because it, oh my gosh, at first it might not seem, it might seem like a little block. It might be a little block, but it's not. Um... You know, okay, 
there are some examples here, overcome that obstacle or something that didn't work out because possibly something better is waiting or it was just, it's just not the right time, but most likely it's because something better. And if you look back, Sagittarius, I, I would, this is, this is part of your hour power. <laughs> Take some time and look back um, in your life. And uh, because you will find it, go into your memory bank and try to recall times when things, when you wanted something so bad and it didn't work out. And then later in hindsight, you, you were so happy it didn't work out because you got something better in the end. That's the exact same scenario. Okay. So believe in yourself. Okay. Let's see what else for... Sagittarius, <clears throat> back to what you love. So you're getting back down to the basics too for some of you, just getting back to the simple things probably or noticing you know, the simple pleasures of life because um, you'll be getting to know each other. Possibly, you know, you could be getting, uh, I'm getting something about reunion. So I don't know if there's like, it's like friends, family, uh, maybe loved ones that maybe you never even got to or you never um, even have met. So there could be something like that, but um, love, yes, I definitely see you getting to know one another. So I'm sensing like page of cups, you know, we're in a place of um, in awe. But the cool thing is, is, you know, they're always growing and expanding. So they're always learning to meet another's need for love, right? Through the process of the time that we have here on planet earth. So get back to what you love. Some of you look at this, reevaluating what you what your desires are, right? Taking that time out that you need because it is valuable. And this is you investing in, um, you know, being loyal to strengthening yourself, your confidence, which has a lot of power as well. Focus on love. Do we have that other card that was talking about focus on love too? Look for the good in everything and everyone, right? Even, even, the, even the haters, <laughs> even the angry ones, or just don't even focus on them at all. Um, seriously, energy goes, you know, where attention flows and that's good or bad, but look for the good in everyone right now because you're shifting things and you're actually going to cause more good karma to, to you because every good feeling you have is like a deed. It's, a, it's like a good, you know, good gestures, good deeds. They all add up. They all accumulate here. And so here we are. We're doing the things to even things out now within ourselves so that our situation reflects the harmony that we know resides within us, that dream that we hold within ourselves letting go of struggle, letting go of the have to, letting go of too much hard work. What else? I just heard, ooh, ow. I just heard you were bred def different. You're a different breed in a sense, okay? Not, not saying that we're all, I mean, we're all, all different. We all come from the same place, but like a different breed here okay i don't mean to uh that's that is not a um what is it what am i trying to say i mean that's a compliment that's not anything negative okay so just know that so take a chance on love oh we had that risk card look at that you're taking a chance on love you're going to take a chance on a bond here you're going to take a chance on loving yourself and and loving yourself so much that not all of you, but some of you, you know, you're really letting go of any hard uh, feelings towards yourself or others. Yeah, because when we love, our lives are changed forever. And this is where things really line up. And now we're in a new reality, sitting with all of the things that we thought and felt about ourselves from this point on and moving forward. You always have a chance to even things out with yourself too. So that's, that's what's so really grand about time. Time isn't a bad thing. Time allows us to reevaluate, re to reassess, to um, shift things. Because if you really think about it, it would be horrible. It would actually it would be horrible 
uh, in this in this day and age because I don't feel that all human consciousness is ra raised up to the vibration of the level where we can think and manifest automatically because that would be a dangerous thing and you know it would <laughs> okay and besides that like even if we could oh my can you imagine the waste that would be here because how many times have we've gotten something and oh, we're like well, I don't know if I really like it now you know what I mean it's just those kind of things so um, yeah, don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. There is some, something about you and um, enduring and having, I feel, um, a supportive situation with you and another or others where you just can feed off of each other and it just, endure, you know, you help each other's stamina, right? In goals, projects for yourselves and with each other. What else? Be at peace oh my gosh I was noticing oh yeah there it is the dove how beautiful and big this dove spirit is so you know birds of a feather flock together right peaceful people do exist <laughs> trust me there are people who love to just uh, be peaceful right they're choosing peace over struggle they're choosing you know equality fairness over maybe being right And you do have divine providence as well. Trust that. So be at peace with yourself. Surrender. Okay. There's something about you opening yourself up um, to really receive a lot of love too. Okay. And I feel that there may be doves. Maybe be uh, doves might be speaking to you as well, Sagittarius. Okay. What else? My cat is snoring. I'm almost. I was almost tempted to put my microphone let's see if it'll yeah you want to hear my cat snore and make you laugh did you hear that did you hear that i put i have my little microphone i put it on him okay i just he's getting all he's getting up there in his age okay let's see watch and wait Especially when it comes to uh, matters of the heart, spirit wants you to spirit wants to give you the best situation, the best outcome. So we don't want to do anything to disturb the cycle, right? What we do know is we're going to step out of a cycle, right? Because a lot of you have, and so you're just kind of, you know, just like it's like waxing and waning here. Watch and wait. I mean, you do have sweet results await too. So I really sense like three of uh, wands coming through as well, Sagittarius. So there's definitely more growth, um, financial gain. So you, yeah, you definitely, I would say um, for those that are, you know, focus on your finances, your money, and having that grow too is, um, you know, set up a financial plan or plan for the future, okay, with your money, save, whatever you got to do. Okay, what else for Sagittarius? Inner alchemy. Oh my gosh, I feel that this is um, temperance actually, which would be you um, if this was tarot. But anyhow, inner alchemy is achieved when you react to, oh, fear with love. See, you're, you're, you're combating everything with love right now. So in some aspects, that's going to take a lot more strength, right? Especially when it comes to, you know, loving, you know, and accepting the things that, you know, we're finding out or that we have to face. Face it with a lot of love, right? Face it like this is my, uh, this is my chance to tackle a certain feeling, a certain fear, whatever it is, and do it. Just love it. Say, thank, you know, thanks for, you know, showing yourself, revealing yourself. But now I'm just going to keep utilizing love. What else? Lay a solid, solid foundation. Oh, by acting as if. See, you're in this, um, you know, you're at a new point, a new beginning here. So these all matter right now. You know, your thoughts, your ideas, um, whatever you're doing to be productive, right? Just do all that you can do for the day and then take a rest, right? 
and then know that you're you know creating your dreams into being here so just act as if now some of you you are in a new i feel that you're in a new position or you're about to be um, if you feel uncomfortable or it's not your thing, just keep hanging in there. Just blend in until you start feeling a little bit more comfortable, okay? It takes time. You're, you're literally like a baby in a new situation. And this is why Spirit wants you to be really patient with yourself and don't feel that you have to perfect things, right? Inner alchemy is at work right now. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out, Sagittarius, what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Sagittarius have to look forward to in the near future? High Priestess of Fire. You know, this is like a queen of wands or king of wands to the max here, <laughs> in a sense, which is really you being in your power and your position. High Priestess of Fire is getting ready to summon a lot of power, a new beginning, passion. Um, there is definitely something passionate going on here with you in the creative world. And yes, with another. So right now you're utilizing your fire energy for the good and uh, you can expect some divine creations divine passion in the near future and there's something going on here too where i feel that you're going to get very creative um, when it comes to either knowledge ideas beliefs um with spirit uh, with spirituality of however it you know fits into your life Let's see. I'm going to get a little bit more, too, with the High Priestess of Fire for what you have to look forward to in the near future. Oops, I put that upside down. Give me a little bit more with High Priestess of Fire. Yep, you're claiming your independence. Yes, you are. You're figuring things out and see there's something about you that's going to be on fire if you're not feeling on fire. So don't be afraid uh, to do things, right? Uh, things and situations and circumstance may scare you, but try to watch out if you're making a decision based on, you know, fear or past things here because we are breaking some type of cycle or even a karmic cycle, karmic pattern. Some of you, it could be a lifetime thing. Okay, so it's very powerful. Let's find out uh, how spirit is currently helping you. Look at you being all independent here. And knowing that you're going to be landing on your feet no matter what. Because this cat, <laughs> this cat spirit has wings. How is spirit helping Sag Sagittarius currently? I'm like, you're getting your stripes, baby. You're getting your stripes. It's like tiger energy going on with that cat. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. And we are talking about this whole thing about choice, right? Choosing to focus on love. So Spirit's helping you make positive choices. Staying conscious in your thoughts. Because when you do, you are guiding your journey in the direction of your choice, right? Right? One thing has run its destined course while another is getting ready and prepared. There's no sense in, in rushing it because you're going to have all the time in the world to enjoy it when it does arrive, right? And it's each little step. So it's going to be that journey. So start noticing, watch and wait. Things are starting to appear in your reality because I do feel that you're in between um, an old world and a new world. Love and light. Take care.